the other day I just launched a uh, a new project. Um, we finally got it off the ground and it's up and running now. Uh, but with this project, I had to do a lot of redirects. We had URLs that were indexed by Google, and they needed to be um, redirected to follow the new URL scheme that we have with the uh, the new site. Um, there's a bunch of different ways that you can do that, but the approach that I took was using an htaccess file and just creating a list of redirects. Um, that way, if new content, I, I can pick and choose where things go. Um, it's kind of a pain if you have a large site like we have and it's not really the best solution, but we moved bits and pieces of content around so I really needed to pinpoint where those redirects were going. Um, so I, I, that was the best approach for me. Uh, but I wanted to take a few minutes and show you guys how you can do that and also how you can set up uh, short links to like let's say Facebook if you have a Facebook page or something like that, um, which I'll show you how to do that in a minute. I'm just going to log in. Um, take a minute to go over this right here. Uh, this is a new thing that I got up and running the other day. I had a pretty much a dead laptop that I took back and uh, I turned into like a little mini server I guess you could say but Proxmox is just like a um, ESXi or open source version of uh, VMware. Um, it's a hardware based uh, or a bare bones virtual environment. Um, but I'm going to log into this. And I gotta start up my virtual machine. All right, now that I have that going, I'm gonna log in with Putty. And I'm just going to change over to the directory that I had set up. Um, this shouldn't have anything as far as an htaccess file. Um, now that I have this up and running, I'm actually going to slide this out of the way, and I'm going to go to the site. And I just uh, created just a redirect local host, um, virtual host, so that way uh, you can kind of see what that's like. Um, and I don't have to type in the, uh, the, the IP address. So I have index.php, um, and if I bring my console back over here, I'm actually going to bump the size up on the text. Oops. Uh, we'll do 16. All right. That was one of the biggest issues that I had before. That was that people couldn't read on uh, the lower settings on YouTube. Um, so I'm gonna go to var dub 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 redirect. And if I do a list, you'll see all the pages that I have here. Um, let's say this is a website that you had up and running for like two years and all your pages are well indexed you don't want to lose any of those but you want to come up with a new design and you want to restructure your site because now you're realizing on the main um, the main level of navigation you don't want to have your uh, web dev stuff or um, your services and all that stuff you want to have it nested and with this approach, I mean, you could do it because it is just links, but it's a good approach to um, nest items. So, uh, with that in mind, I am going to create. Oops. Actually, I'll just show you really quick. So, I have index.php, then I have webdev.php, and this piece just changes with the, whatever the script name is. So with that in mind, I am going to change my structure here. So I'm going to make a directory, call it services, and then I'm going to move webdev.php into services. And I'm going to do the same thing with services.php. Oops. Oh, trying to move into something. Um, Let's say services.php. All right, so now I have services and web dev in the services folder, and I have 
and I'm going to do the same thing with about and background. So I'm going to do make a directory about move about.php into about and I will do the same with the background. All right, so now if we look at it, we just have contact and index on our main level of navigation and about and services on the rest of it. So really what I should have done is I should have left about out here and services out here because those would be the main level of navigation, but you guys will understand. Um, so now if I go back to the site and I try and access webdev.php, and again, this is a link that was, or a URL that was indexed by Google and it's not going to change, I'm going to get a not found error. So the way that I have to go around that is I'm going to do a list all, and you'll see that I have a blank HT access. So I'm going to nano HT access, and there's nothing there. Uh, there's a couple things you have to do. First, you have to make sure that your site uh, or your, your web host um, allows HD access files. Some don't. Um, mine, well, this is a server that I set up just for this. Um, so I set it up so that way I could use it. And the first thing you're going to do is options, follow. I don't think this is required, but I like to put it in. And then we need to turn on our rewrite engine. And we do have to have mod rewrite enabled um, in our Apache configuration. So just make sure that that is enabled if you're setting up your own server. And then we'll do a rewrite. rule and then we're just going to start off with grabbing bits and pieces so we're going to do web dev .php, and we're going to go to services web dev .php. and I need to add in this redirect 301 with an L I don't even know what the L stands for but Oh well. Um, so I have that written out now, and if I ref or if I go to the page again, now you'll see that it redirects me to services.webdev. So anybody who tries to access that webdev.php page is just going to be redirected. Um, that just keeps your URLs so that way, if you have index pages, they're not going to be lost. You're not going to be dropping down in the search engines, um, and your indexes are, are not going to be uh, altered in any way that way. Um, eventually Google will re-index re -index your site so then you'll get those links switched over and it won't be necessary anymore but anybody who is linking to your site who doesn't realize that you changed navigation structure um, you're gonna wanna have this so that way those links are automatically redirected to the correct place um, the other thing I wanted to talk to you about is Facebook um, or I'll do YouTube since I have a YouTube channel user Hewitt Media Designs, which I'm actually contemplating coming up with or starting a new channel, which is just um, hear myself talk screws me up. Uh, anyways, um, I want to start a new channel. I'm going to call it Code Completed, which is just going to be um, just strictly code, PHP, uh, I guess some action script coding that I might cover, uh, some C Sharp. Eventually I want to get into iPhone development and Android development. Um, and then I'm also going to cover uh, just Apache Linux stuff, um, just basically a tech channel. Uh, I know there's enough of them out there, but I want to do full-fledged projects rather than just the bits and pieces that most people do. So with that in mind, I'm going to copy this YouTube.com URL here, go back into my Apache configuration, and do a rewrite rule. I'm going to start with YouTube and I'm going to do an optional forward slash and this just ensures that if anybody were to type in that forward slash after YouTube it's going to redirect them correctly anyways so one thing I didn't mention is this caret means right after the domain and after that forward slash whatever's directly after that this is what this is what has to be there in order for it to follow under this rewrite rule um, and then I just covered this optional and then this is just an ending statement 
Um, so now with that in mind, I'm going to paste this in and I got to do the redirect. And I think 302, I'll, I'll just do 301. So now if I were to go back over to my site and right after localhost, I would type in YouTube. Oh, I got an internal server error. What's going on here? I think I got that. Uh, let's see. I think everything else is right. Yeah, so there we go. So that's how easy it is to set up redirects for your site. So you put in your whatever the page is or the file that you want to, that you're going from and wherever you're going to here on the rewrite rule and you can uh, set up quick links too. Ugh. I, got, I can't stand hearing myself talk when I'm trying to do a video. <laughs> I don't know why I keep on going to YouTube, but anyways, so hopefully you guys find that useful. I thought it was a really cool tip um, and something that most people could probably use. Um, I want to do another video on some best practices. So if you're ever planning on switching from one site to another, um, you can use this as well. So uh, hopefully you find this uh, pretty useful and I'll talk to you guys later.